3 quarter cups of almond milk. You could also use soy milk. A teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. A teaspoon of vanilla. Half a cup of canola oil. You could also use coconut oil, sunflower oil, any kind of vegetable oil. Starting off with the dry ingredients, we are going to add in one third cup of sugar, a quarter cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of all-purpose white flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, about a teaspoon of cinnamon. You could also add in um, nutmeg if you like or cardamom, but I just like cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. Now mix those together. After mixing, I put this in a dish that I lightly greased, and now we will work on the topping. Cup of flour, third cup of brown sugar, teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter cup of margarine. This one is soy and vegetable oil based. Just for a little bit more texture, I added in roughly a quarter cup of walnuts that I roughly chopped. Depending on the size of your pan, you may have some the topping left over. I have a little bit left, but this is good for this size. And now I will put it into a preheated 350 degrees um, convention convection bake oven. A bit of extra topping, so I'm just making quick oat bars. Um, so I have one and a half cups of oats, one and a half cups of flour. I have half a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of white sugar. And I also have one cup of margarine that is soy and vegetable oil based. And then I also have a quarter cup of cold water. After I mix it all together, I put it into my pan. I also lightly sprayed it with some canola oil. And now um, you can leave the recipe as is, but I just have a little bit left of the topping from my previous recipe and I thought that I would put it on top. This is as well going into the Oven. Here is the final product of the coffee cake. Coffee cake just meaning that it is great to have with coffee. The oat bar. So um, yep, today is the next day and I made another batch of the coffee cake. However, I made these for a family gathering. My mom want, really liked, my family really liked the recipe. And um, so my mom asked me to make uh, it in muffin form for um, a family gathering tomorrow, so I made them. I just want to show you how cute they are. Little uh, papers that we got surprisingly from the dollar store. <laughs> so cute. Um, you can't really see it, uh, but it's like a jingham pattern. So it's the green, lime green, and oh, here it's when you can see a little better, the pink. Um, but yeah, I am spilling them now. Uh, but yeah, super cute. All right, so to start off with the pasta salad, I had um, boiled my water and then I got my pasta in. I added a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil so that it wouldn't stick together and to add a little bit of flavor to the pasta, I drained it, put, um, washed it in cold water so it stopped the cooking process and now I have about four cups here. And then I'm gonna be adding in the beans. The ones that I'll be using today are called the six bean blend, um, but I previously made this with black bean, which I really um, very much preferred, but this is what we have today, and then I just drained them. So I added in the beans, it was 540 mLs, which was around um, two cups. And I'm starting to add my spices now. I started off with about a quarter, um, half a cup of red wine vinegar. Um, this is quite a big batch, so that's why it is in this dose. But I kind of just eyeballed it, and I put about two of these. And then I put a quarter cup around, or just one spoonful, a uh, little bit less, of canola oil. And you'll see here that my family pretty much loves the no-name brand. Um, I also added some um, sea salt. We also have some onion powder and garlic powder, which I put about a teaspoon of each. Uh, I probably will put a bit more of garlic powder especially, so maybe about two teaspoons. And then I put uh, about three quarter teaspoons of thyme oregano and basil leaves and these are all dried um, you know some people might have some qualms about dried um, spices but we really like them Take note that once you put in the fridge the spices m pretty much will intensify so in the moment when you put them they're not going to be as strong especially the garlic but once you put it in the fridge you really will get the strong flavors so this is all mixed up together and I also added in half a cucumber and I dice that and put that in. It really adds a nice punch of color. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you give this a try and let me know what you guys think. 
Um, that's about it. I'm sorry I'm not showing my face in this video, but that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the easy recipes I've made for you guys. And yeah, it's really not that hard to not use meat or animal products in your food. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye!